Mick Joe's invention. Beautiful day at the wildlife refuge. Massive amounts of grass. People in Saudi Arabia with goats would kill to have access to grass like this. I dove underneath the truck yesterday, the truck camper, and I discovered <laughs> I'm out of practice as a mechanic. I made a very elementary mistake and then ended up going on a wild goose chase. And uh, now that uh, now that I poured over the diagrams and realized I was chasing the wrong color wire, <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, start over again and backtrack and start testing the proper wire. So uh, the proper circuit. Uh, I had almost zero pain yesterday. Uh, basically, uh, MGTOW Monger, thank God for him, <laughs> put me in touch or uh, pointed out a Cliff High video that was talking about uh, Fenbendazol, which is usually a dog worming medication, uh, being good against cancer and I uh, used it for about eight months in pretty heavy doses didn't help me a bit earlier in my cancer career but uh, basically um, it's then it now it's come to light that uh, the fenbendazole method uh, doesn't work unless you have enough vitamins in your system and especially vitamin C, D, and E. So uh, I've been mega dosing on those. And, uh, and I just got my blood work back last week. And uh, it's uh, supposed to be, if you really want it to hit the sweet spot, it has to be 90 milliliters per something or other or whatever, but 90, and I'm 94. So I am supplementing enough. No need to change my routine. So uh, I'm almost thinking either it's Joyce being gone or the Fenbendazole plus vitamin D uh, addition to my routine. Uh, I think it's helping, guys. Uh, I only have pain in my ribs right now. Yeah, just pain in my ribs. And it's because they're very tender for some reason. Maybe the cancer moved me on the bone or some shit. But, uh, but basically, uh, I'm, uh, I'm feeling enormously better. But rolling around under that truck and doing low crawl and high crawl, rolling over and everything, and uh, dragging myself around underneath there is pretty strenuous. Getting up and laying down and getting up and laying down, you know mechanics world but uh, so my ribs are pretty sore so I'm not going to uh, climb under there today but hopefully I will uh, heal up a little bit more tomorrow and then I'll hit that truck hard and maybe I'll be able to take it to my next cancer treatment thing is those cancer treatments have like massive bags of uh, IV material that are just dumped into you and man, I'm going to the bathroom every 15 minutes. And I generally have to really kind of have to stop on my way home because it's a long drive. I have to stop twice. So if I can get the camper going, I will have a bathroom with me. So I can just stop on an off ramp and uh, 
jump in the bathroom and take a leak and then I'll be off off again because it's a bitch when you stop at like a gas station and there's a line of 12 people or the guy says no bathroom no no, no bathroom you know <laughs> in broken English and uh, <laughs> and uh, obviously I gave that gas station a one star review uh, so in any case uh, Uh, yeah, I was feeling a little resentment because I was like, oh, dying! So I pulled around behind that gas station, pulled out my colostomy rinse bottle, and and took care of business with it that way because it was either that or pee all over my seat. So uh, that was my choice. So, uh, yeah, did what I had to do. But if I have my camper with me, I don't have to do that. So... That's the plan, and that's about all I got. So my cancer final report that I had the other day, that might not be the end of the story. I might have a little more, a little bit more of a story to go. Basically, uh, up until like, like about two or three weeks after I got home, actually within a week after I got home, I thought I was gonna die. I absolutely was, well, I was a millimeter away from uh, calling it a day. And uh, I have never felt pain. I don't recall ever feeling pain like that before. It's like in a whole different category. Even my colostomy surgery, I mean, it hurt, but nothing like that. But then again, I had drugs for that. Uh, with the uh, liver problem, I was just taking MSM, and and I'm not taking ibuprofen though. So uh, just mega dosing on MSM. So that's uh, that's what I've been doing. So it might be. So basically, after a couple of weeks though, I started getting better. But my long-term plans were. Uh, we're basically out to about two months. But now, and I was doing shit to wrap up my affairs, so to speak, so it would be a little less messy for dad. But, uh, but now, my long-term plans, I've pushed my long-term plans out to about six or seven months. So I'm feeling a little adventurous. If I keep healing as well as I have been since Joyce left, <laughs> I think I might take another trip to Montana. That's about all I got for you, Nick Townsend. Don't get married.